Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. It's lovely to see you all again, as usual. So happy Thursday to you, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So here we are. I'm bringing you my fish and parsley sauce. You know, I've put this up in my Meals of the Week every Sunday for years now, and I've had so many people asking, you know, I'd love to see a recipe for that. So I've done that today. But let me tell you, it's so, so simple and very easy to put together. So I'll just run you through what I'm using and I'll pop it on the screen as we go. So we're going to start off with the sauce. So in a medium heat, in a sort of smallish saucepan, I'm going to melt the butter. So this is salted butter. Use unsalted if you prefer. Let that melt down. And to that, we're going to add the plain flour or all-purpose flour, depending on whereabouts you're from. Give that a good stir together just until it's nicely combined. And you'll want to let this cook for about three or four minutes just to let the raw flour cook out and you don't have that raw flour taste in your end sauce. It'll start looking something like this. It'll look quite foamy and dry until you start to stir it again and then it'll be nice and liquidy again. So to this I'm going to add the milk. This is just room temperature milk. You don't want to use milk straight from the fridge. So just pop it in. Just pop it all in at the same time. You don't have to add it gradually. Just give it a good stir with a whisk and you won't get any lumps and just stir this for a few minutes and it will go nice and thick like this. To this you want to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. This is optional. I just like the flavour. Just a wee touch of nutmeg gives and then about a half teaspoon each of crushed black pepper and crushed sea salt as well. Give that a wee stir around with your whisk and you want to let this bubble away just for a few minutes for those flavours to infuse. And then just at the last minute, I'm going to add in some fresh chopped parsley. You can use dried parsley if you prefer, but it doesn't have anywhere near the flavour that fresh parsley has got. So if I've got it, I will use fresh parsley, but in a pinch, I will use the dried stuff, but you don't get anywhere near as good as a result. So that's you done. That's the sauce done. So all I'm going to do is cover this with some plastic wrap. That way I'm not going to get a skin on the top when I go to reheat this. But you can just pop a lid on if you don't mind having a skin. Now we're going to go onto the fish. So you want to pop your, your frying pan onto kind of low heat. And this is your fish here. I'm using this haddock. This is from a local fishmonger and it's wonderful. I'm actually going to half mine through the middle because it makes them easier to get out the pan at the end. So pop your milk in. And then to that, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of minced garlic and then also a one bay leaf as well. You can use one or two bay leaves. It's up to you. It's just to infuse the milk with a wee bit of flavour. And again, with the salt and pepper, about a half teaspoon of each. And I'm also going to add a wee drop of butter as well. If you want to make this a butter sauce, add more butter. You know, that's as simple as that. And obviously don't use the, the parsley. So you want to bring this up to the boil. Let this simmer away for a few minutes for those flavours to infuse into the milk. Lift out your bay leaf or bay leaves. And then we're just going to pop in the fish. Get your heat back down to low, as low as you can get it, because you do want these to poach nice and slowly and not break up. You know, that would be a complete disaster. So just move them around. Flick some of that cooking liquor on top of the fish, just like this, and let them simmer away for about between five and eight minutes. Depends how, you know, thick your fish is. And if you're finding it's not, you know, cooking all the way through, you can just baste your fish with the cooking liquid and the heat from the cooking liquid will, you know, cook the top of your fish. But just do it nice and low and slow until they're fully cooked all the way through, just like this. So get back to your sauce and this will probably need heated up a wee bit. So get your, your film off or your lid off, whatever you've used. Give it another wee mix through just to loosen it up again. And this was far too thick for me. So I'm going to add some of the milk from the, the pan that the fish has been cooking in, just to loosen up a wee bit to get it to your desired consistency. I like this, a nice pouring consistency. I really don't like this too thick. So this was ideal for me, but use as much of the cooking liquor as you like. You might want it really thick, you know, in which case you won't have to do that. But I quite like the flavor, you know, adding the infused milk gives to the end sauce as well. So that's it done. And we're just having some mashed potato with some dried parsley, because like I said, it doesn't have much flavor and a wee bit of butter and milk in there as well, just until it goes nice and creamy. Topped off with the fish, the lovely sauce, some sweet corn, 
on the side and just a, you know, a few of the ball beetroot as well. And this is one of our favourites. As you'll know, you know, if you watch the channel, you'll see this one quite often. And sometimes I use the smoked haddock as well. You know, they're just as nice as each other. So do let me know if you're planning on giving that one a go, you know, if you were one of the folk who had requested that over the years. And I'm just glad to have finally brought it to you. And a huge thank you as well to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And I do need to update those wee lists, so bear with me until I go on with that. And yeah, thank you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. It's all very much appreciated. And I will see you during the week for another wee recipe back on Saturday for our wee shopping and bagging or back on Sunday for meals of the week. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.